my philosophy in photography is just create a community of people just hanging out and just pursuing happiness. I believe that we are in this world just to find happiness, find what makes us happy, what makes our heart full. And I've met a lot of people through this, this industry and it's been incredible. It's been an incredible journey how a camera can take you to places that you've never even thought that you were gonna go to or meet people that you never even knew that you were gonna meet. Hola, hola, I'm Neto Velasco. I'm a graphic designer and photographer from Mexico living in Los Angeles, California. I am a husband, I am a friend, I am family to a lot of people. I enjoy doing photography. I shoot concerts, I shoot portraits. I teach photography and I'm just here trying to find happiness. I think that's my main goal. I immigrated to United States. It's quite a funny story because back in Mexico, I had a clothing company. Me and two other friends, we designed shoes. So we had a shoe company in Mexico. We were making these shoes in a very, very small town in central Mexico. So basically, just to make this story short, some bad guys took the factory and just like basically stole everything. That's when we were like, okay, we did this. We were happy doing the clothing company, but it's time to move on. Like there's no way we, we can rebuy the material that they stole. That's when I, I immigrated to Los Angeles seven years ago and I never looked back. I miss Mexico so much. And I think immigrating here changed my photography philosophy 100%. In Mexico, I was younger. I think I was a little bit more selfish, just looking into myself. And once I came here uh, and I, it opened my eyes, it made me realize how much I missed a com being part of a community, being surrounded by friends, by family. And over here, I just want to create that for other people because a lot of people that live in LA, they moved here from somewhere else. So they feel the same way. They feel alone. They feel with no friends or far away from their family. That's why I created this space to, to, have, uh, to have a family. And my photography now relies on not, not a selfish point of view, but how can I give back to everyone with photography? This is by teaching photography or giving out tips or even just hanging out in the studio, just going on photo walks. That makes me happy and I want to transmit that to everyone else. La Serpiente Studio means everything to me. I've always wanted to open a studio such as this one here in Los Angeles. I previously owned a studio in Mexico. It was very, very small. It didn't have windows. It didn't have AC. It was above a gas station right next to the gas station bathroom. So everything smelled terrible, but I mean, rent was very cheap and I learned the ins and outs of a photo business. So coming to United States seven years ago, during those seven years, I've always dreamed of having a photo studio. And I mean, we found a space, me and my wife, we rented out a spot in Arts District, and it just, it's everything I have ever dreamed of. I have the space to create whatever I want, I tell my other photographer friends that this is not only my space, this is a space that belongs to everyone. And I, I am very I like persistent with this. If anyone has a client that needs a studio space, like come here, like this spot is for everyone. So that is why I named this studio La Serpiente, because as I've said before, I miss Mexico so much. So I wanted to put my name out there, a Spanish name, a name in, in Spanish that that represents me and my love for Mexico. And I think La Serpiente is just the perfect name for it. I mean, it's a serpent. It's, it's, it's an amazing, an amazing animal. COVID impacted me like very radical. Of course, it impacted everyone's life. After, I remember, I think it was March 14. That day, like definitely changed everything for a lot of people. At least for me, in my personal story, 
I lost everything that day. I remember I had ordered a camera just to shoot some street photography three days ago. On March 14, I lost all my clients, except one that went halftime. But that halftime, that payment was not enough to afford rent or afford food here in LA. So I was like, okay, so what's gonna happen? I waited off like one month, two months during quarantine. And then I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to survive. Back then I didn't have, uh, I was not a citizen yet, yet. So I was not able to get a lot of benefits that um, some people from the United States get. So I had, I, I, I was legally able to work. So I found the app Uber Eats. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I don't care what I need to do. I just need to work. I tried doing more photography gigs, but nobody was hiring. Nobody wanted photography services during quarantine. And that's totally understandable. I'm like, okay, what do they need? They need food. I have a car. I have legs. I can run to get food and deliver it. So I did that for, for a long time. I did it every day. I was able to pay rent for my house to, to buy food, to pay all the utilities, and I saved money. And with that money, I saved up and I was able to afford renting the studio. And now, just three months ago, I stopped doing Uber Eats because now I'm focusing on photography. Everything is going back back to how it was, and I'm just trying to, to build this, this studio from the ground up. The thing that inspired me to learn photography and to create images is just that sense. Okay, so hear me out. This is just insane. So we live life, we view life, and we see everything, right? And then with photography, you can actually capture that one second and just make it yours. Like, that's insane. Like, the technology that goes behind a photography, it's just unbelievable. So since the first time I saw a picture, it was a Polaroid, I'm like, how is this image here when like that, that time already passed, you know? So that's what made me very interested in photography and that's how I started. I actually went to school for photography. This was like 15 years ago. And I was a very, I, I just wanted to shoot film. I loved shooting film. I had my camera that my grandma gave to me. It was a Canon A1. I still have it. It's still my favorite camera. And that made me have a, lot, a bunch of friends. I didn't have friends before, but with the camera, that was something that I could meet people with. And it happened during COVID too. Uh, I ordered this Fujifilm camera right before COVID hit. I was about to cancel it because I lost all my clients and I didn't have money to buy this camera. But I said, you know what? My main goal is to be happy. This camera is gonna bring me happiness? Yes, all right, then I'll find some work in order to pay for that camera. And it was because of that Fujifilm camera that I met the, my best friends right now here in LA. We hang out every week, we go out shooting, we meet other photographers, we meet other people, and it's just that sense of community that I was really searching for. So yeah, I owe everything, everything to the photography, to a camera. This photography business, this industry is just incredible and full of amazing people.